from NBC News. This is today's take. It was exactly a year ago, May 20th, 2013, when a disastrous E5 tornado with winds topping 200 miles an hour touched down in Moore, Oklahoma, destroying everything in its path, including the Plaza Towers Elementary School. Seven children from that school alone were among the 24 killed in the storm. Residents were warned just 16 minutes before the twister struck, leaving them little time to protect themselves. One year ago today, a deadly tornado tore through the city of Moore, Oklahoma. Oh my God! Taking with it the lives of 24 people and more than 1,000 homes. I could just see everything was gone. The mile wide path destroyed neighborhoods, businesses, and schools. I came out and I saw the cars and I saw the houses and I just started crying so hard. Although evidence of what happened here still remains, Moore is determined to rebuild. In 2013, only 16% of Moore residents had below ground storm shelters. Today, that number has risen to 24%, preparing themselves should the city face a future storm. Well, whether it's tornadoes in the plains, hurricanes in the east, or wildfires burning out west, you want to be ready when severe weather strikes. And here with important information, Kevin O'Connor, host of This Old House. Kevin, good to see you. Hi, good Kevin. morning. So being ready is the key. We can right. teach you how to build a strong house, and that's important, but being prepared is the number one thing. So a couple things to think about. Sure. Awareness. Know when the storm is coming. The American Red Cross has got two free apps for mm -hmm. your cell phone. It'll alert you to hurricanes and tornadoes. They're terrific apps. And in the case of tornadoes, it'll send out an active alert, whether you're watching the weather or not, so you'll know. That's that's right. Think right about now. a kit. Okay. You do not want to be shopping the day of the storm. So you've probably seen these items talked okay. about before. Water, non-perishable foods, flashlights, but a couple things you might not be thinking about okay. a box for all of your important documents mm -hmm. maybe your prescriptions something that you can throw in there weather tight take it with you use a ziploc bag if you can't handle that okay. and in this case crank radio crank radio yeah. right mm -hmm. batteries or crank and here's the important thing flashlight solar but a way to actually power your phone if the power mm -hmm. goes out for three days this is what's going to keep you in touch you need to have a drill yes. with your family on a regular basis a kit and a plan you and your kids and your wife might be in different places mm -hmm. know where you're going to meet after the storm, know who you're going to call. If your kids can't reach you, who's the first person you want them to call? Think about it before the storm arrives. Important to practice that drill as well. And you say also important to do a survey of your property. Look for trees that may be, you know, showing signs of age or wear and tear. Spring is the perfect yeah. time to do it. Get the limbs off the ground. Get the dead branches, the dead trees off the property. Don't let them become flying objects. When the storm is upon you, secure things like patio furniture, the tables outside, and such. Okay, so you're, you, you're, you hear the tornado yes. warning. Now you have to take cover. It's coming quickly, so you just want to get safe. If you've got a basement or a storm cellar, go there. If you don't, you want to be on the first floor at mm -hmm. grade. You want to be in an interior room, preferably without windows. Right. If you happen to be in your car, you don't want to be there. But okay. if you have no choice, put mm -hmm. the seatbelt on, get below the windows, try to cover up your face to protect from the shards of glass. Okay, if you're along the East Coast yes. or, or the Gulf Coast, mm -hmm. you know, hurricanes, hurricanes approaching, you've got to take care of your windows. We want to protect the windows because we don't want them to be penetrated. We don't want driving water. We don't want wind getting through there. If you're going to cover them up with plywood, get it beforehand, cut it so that it is the size inside of the actual jams and the trim on the outside. And the time to do this is now. Now, right. do it now. Get this five eighths inch or thicker, cut it to size and secure it, not necessarily with screws, but something like a barrel vault. This is going to be coming on and off. Sure. Oh, so right. you want to protect keep that. it around every hurricane right. season. And in Tornado Alley and, and hurricanes, they're making these newer windows that are a little bit more oh, impact proof. This is an active system. You have to do something. This okay. is a passive system. Mm -hmm. This is impact resistant glass. It has got two pieces of glass and a membrane in the middle. So, are you ready for this? All right. Yeah, go All right ahead. Now, we are hitting go the inside it. of the window just for demonstration right. and safety sake, but look at that. Amazing. That window wow. glass is broken, but the membrane between there right. is not. Wow. No That's penetration. Incredible. No driving wind, no driving water. That's, how much right. more do those cost than, say, regular windows? This window is $400, comparable size, $200, so about twice the price. All right, but they pay for itself. So no, absolutely. If you've got a disaster. All right, Kevin, Kevin thank you so thank much. Thank you. And still to come this morning.